Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 29th of March to the 4th of April 2021. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching message for the week. So what do we have for Aries please? Message for our lovely Aries for the week please. Okay. Got a study interesting i had this for leo um we have number 36 study let my mind be clear and strong let me study well and long okay so oh, it's interesting i've got new beginnings at the bottom of that card and when i look i always put it down that's number 44 let this magic in my spell clear the space in which i dwell <laughs> interesting feels like some kind of the butterfly is a sign of transformation let us pull some more cards okay angels what is the message for aries okay okay that there, there's something better aries feels very beautiful something transformational focus on that okay I'm going to pull some cards, see what this is about. So let's just move those over slightly. Okay. What do we have for Aries, please? Message for Aries, thank you. Message for Aries, thank you. 29th of March to the 4th of April, 2021. message for Aries I've got three cards here but you know let's go with it so we have the death card in the challenge position and I've got that also with the three of cups and the six of cups nine of wands is advice from spirit and we have the hermit card of Virgo there death is card of Scorpio Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Aries, please. What do we have for Aries? Thank you. What do we have for Aries? Thank you. Thank you. The chariot. So the Nine of Wands I've got with the Ten of Wands. And the Hermit I have with the Three of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck I have the Eight of Cups. Whatever this situation is, Aries, there is definitely something better here. Um, because there has been a difficult in... It feels like moving on from some kind of disappointment I'm getting. A difficulty in moving on from disappointment and finding closure. You know, that could be in terms of love, romance, relationships. It could also be in terms of money and career if you've had some disappointment. Because there's definitely been an energy on um, the past is still in the present in this energy. And something, it's almost kind of like you haven't quite purged you haven't quite shed an old skin the closure hasn't quite happened yeah it definitely feels in this energy that you're going through some kind of process of just finding your way forward and moving on from some kind of disappointment like I said whatever aspect this means to you the cards remain the same 
the the chariot is generally a card of victory and success in the challenge position which this is it is the difficulty in moving forward remember the charioteer moves from a to b so you're having an energy of moving from what was to what will be there's a feeling of of ties attachments disappointments uh, coming to terms with something you're still in the process of dealing with that which is hindering you moving on towards a new goal but there's a message that you will conquer it here there's definitely a message of victory is awaiting you but there is a need you see those two horses they're black and white and the charioteer pulls them with force into balance because it's almost kind of like something has thrown you out of balance, some kind of disappointment that needs to be pulled into balance now, taking the reins, getting back in the driving seat. And that is your challenge, to grapple with what this represents. Finally, just letting, drawing a line under something, letting something end. Because the transformation, this is the, the butterfly energy. Um, moving from the chrysalis to the butterfly and we do have the butterfly appearing in your card so it's quite poignant um the death card in the sense that you're going to do it you are going to do it but it, it has been some kind of challenge yeah it feels for some of you I'm just getting in this energy Aries that it's almost like there's one more thing to do, one more thing to deal with. There's a level of perseverance and then it's over. It's time to release the burdens. It's almost kind of like in this energy, what's holding you back from releasing the burdens? Because the 10 is clarifying the nine. So in this energy, there's a feeling of what's holding you back, holding you back from completion and dealing with it. It's almost kind of like there's one thing to deal with here and then you're done. You can release the burdens. This is a, this is a, a feeling of being burdened, um, weighed down, something weigh you down. And it's, it's a past journey. It's what this represents, some kind of past journey. And it's almost kind of like you're holding back from bringing completion to a situation. And the charioteer is, no, you need to take the reins of this and move on um, because there's success and victory you can bring success and victory over that which has challenged you it might well be that there's one more thing to deal with one more thing to release i mean whatever this is for you i'm going to pull a card what is this nine of wands for aries please what is this nine of wands for aries thank you moon energy lack of clarity interesting that's the moon in Sagittarius there's a feeling here that something is stopping you from I mean this can be fear anxiety lack of clarity I don't know how to move forward but the message here is trust your intuition because that's how you deal with the shadow energy of the moon it's part shadow part light the moon you can see th part things but you can't see the whole picture and you're not meant to the universe knows sees the big picture and there's a message of just give it up surrender trust trust your intuition now that you're going to be guided this is a card of hidden blessings so there's definitely an energy of it's almost kind of like there's a lack of clarity in something or you have a lack of clarity in how you move forward because the 10 is the completion um, it is a card of feeling the burden feeling the pressure feeling the responsibility feeling weighed down but it's almost kind of like that's as far as it goes now but it's almost kind of like there's something holding you back. How do I bring completion to this situation, this period of burden? Let's clarify this Ten of Wands. Mm. 
Yeah, the Four of Swords recovery. Giving deep thought to a situation, seeing the way forward, getting clarity of the mind even. Um, so there's a, definitely a need to get clarity here. The clarity brings the recovery. It feels like there's some clarity. You need to get some clarity, maybe through some deep thought. And again, this is very intuitive energy. There's definitely an energy of there's some intuition here. Your intuition is strong in guiding you forward here, Aries. And that's what spirit is telling you. This is about surrender. Just trust your intuition and trust that it feels like the new beginning is waiting for you. It is time to release the burdens. There is something better ahead. So it's time to move on. Let's clarify this three of coins. Yeah, the challenge. Okay. So the Eight of Cups, Aries, is a card of walking away, saying goodbye. But it can also be about turning your back now on disappointment. Uh, something, it feels like something hasn't worked out and it's been difficult to move on from it. But this is an energy in the, in, this is the near future, moving on, uh, turning your back. And, you know, the Eight of Cups moves towards the Nine of Cups, the wish fulfillment, the hopes, dreams and wishes coming true. Something that is more fulfilling, more happy. Um, it doesn't have the disappointment or the lack associated with the Eight of Cups. So it's almost kind of like saying goodbye, turning your back on whatever this situation is that's been difficult to deal with. Uh, there's definitely a feeling of finally turning your back on what has been a difficult journey and opening up to a new one because transformation is available to you. The Hermit card is a card of healing, um, finding answers from within on how you need to take action in your external environment. For some of you, you may also be getting some kind of answer you know, it might well be for some of you, you might be getting some kind of answer this week because we have the three of coins here, which can be a card of rebuilding and um, that can be that can manifest in terms of business partnerships, uh, the beginnings of success in new business. So new business, new job, new business role. Um, there's definitely an energy here of it's been a challenge to manifest this new path to rebuild but nevertheless there is definitely this rebuilding energy going on this is mars in capricorn mars is your energy use your practical skills experience knowledge to bring advancement now and turn something around this is about using your time wisely because it's almost kind of like for some of you there is something better and there's definitely an energy of stay in your this is about standing in your power defending what you know to be true overcoming challenge to rebuild now some of you may be moving home um this can be new jobs new business career ventures new business partnerships um can also be to do with new home energy you might just be rebuilding rebuilding your life and moving on from some disappointment. And that's what's happening because it feels in this energy, it is a challenge, but this is about stay, stay with it, persevere, because you are getting on top of that which has challenged you. That hermit energy is a wonderful card of raising energy from within, raising your vibration and allowing you to focus on the things that you need to focus on to rebuild your life now. It feels that like some of you have gone through a very difficult ending and it's been difficult to move on from that. So this could be in terms of love, romance, relationships. It could be in your money and career aspect. The Three of Pentacles can be a card of the beginnings of success. Um, but there's definitely some transformational energy around you. So let's clarify this new beginning card. What do we have for that new beginning card with Aries number 44? Let's 
pull a card for that new beginning energy. New love. Now this can also be offer opportunities with the Knight of Cups. Um, and it's interesting what this Eight of Cups is walking towards is the Ninth Cup that's been offered to them. So it feels in this respect, uh, oh, maybe with a Leo. But this can also be you, Aries. You know, King of Wands, male or female energy, it feels like there is a wonderful new beginning coming your way. And, you know, the Knight of Cups brings the Cup of Joy, an offer that makes you happy. Now, that could be in terms of love, romance, relationships. That could be in terms of um, creative opportunities, you know, that kind of energy with business and career. It feels there's somebody who is going to be influential here, Aries. This is either you being back in your power, taking the lead, you know, taking action, being back on your throne, which I'm definitely feeling this new beginning is associated with. Um, it can also be somebody, it can be in a leadership role, or like I said, it could be a fellow fire sign. Not limited to that, it's somebody who is magnetic, confident, outgoing, um, passionate, full of life, you know, very much connected to who you are. Um, so you're, you're either meeting somebody like that this, this week, um, but it feels in this respect that it's an opportunity to move on. There's something better and there is. There's definitely new happiness with somebody in whatever context this resonates for you. The study is about focusing on that. Focus your energy on that. Study that. Don't focus your energy on things that are just on the past because it's almost kind of like there is something better ahead and it's almost like the universe is saying, you know, you don't have full clarity of what's ahead, but if you can only see what's lined up for you, you know, the universe sees a big picture. So just trust, trust, surrender, move forward, align with where your instinct is leading you now. And that is what this energy is because there's hidden blessings there. And that's what you're being told. It's a lovely energy, Aries. So I'm going to pull a final card. It's interesting, the Fool is at the bottom of that deck as well, which is New Beginnings. It's also a card of Take the Leap of Faith, Take a Chance. So I'm definitely getting there is some potential love or something that's bringing you joy coming in. And that is the something better. Yeah. Graceful transformation. What did we say? Um, the Swan. Soften your heart and find your flow. Feels like some of you have been dealing with past issues, but you're finally ready to release. Accept, release, move on. And, you know, the swan energy is that perseverance energy. You know, you see, we always describe the swan as, as paddling like, you know, anything underneath the surface, but they seem so calm and serene above. And this is the energy of you are rebuilding something successful. You are rebuilding something solid, secure, stable here. Uh, it's a challenge, but there's definitely an energy of, oh, put your energy into rebuilding something, bringing in the transformation. Because for some of you, that is absolutely beautiful energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Aries. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's, wonder I hope it's a wonderful week for you all. And I will see you next time. Thank you.